What's up everybody, it's Team Last Night, and welcome to a tutorial. Now, this is a tutorial a lot of people have been asking for. Not the mansion in general, but just for a mansion tutorial. So I figured, hey, I've been making a couple mansions, made this one, made this one, but we're making this one today. So I do want to let you know, we're making it right here. This is for me. The layout you see is so I don't have to keep going over and looking at this one over here, but I will still count every single block for you. So I just want to get that out of the way now. And also, just kind of a disclaimer, uh, this will be around 99, maybe 95% the same. And there will be some errors to where it won't be exactly the same. Now, just keep that in mind because I don't want you thinking it's going to be like 100% the same. Just because in case it isn't. So, just kind of giving you a heads up there. But yeah, so we're building this mansion today. Now, we're not building it all in one part, obviously. It would be, be a couple parts. But let's get started with the materials that we need. So... We will need cobblestone, pillar quartz blocks, block of quartz, quartz stairs, quartz slab, stone slab, and spruce wood planks. Now, along the course of building the house, we're going to use more materials, obviously, but these will mainly be the parts and pieces that we need for it, this first part. So, we're going to start off with the garage area. So, the garage areas are here on the left that you can see. Now, again, keep in mind, this is here for my layout purposes, and I will still count out everything you need. Okay, so we're going to start on the far left. So you will need a 70 uh, block plot at the least for this house. So just keep that in mind. That, in, that does include the back deck we will make later on in like one of the last parts. But we're going to start at the very left. So make sure you have a lot of room on your left side. And we're going to stack up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with our cobblestone. And now to the right of that pillar, we're going to add two more pillars right next to it. So we should have a pillar of three total. Now, we're going to come to diagonal in front of it, and we're going to stack up two now. So, one, two. Now, these gray areas that, these gray areas that you see here, these are for if you want to put a, another pillar here you want, you can. Uh, but it's not really necessary. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to put cobblestone coming along here. And we're just going to put, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this comes diagonal again. We're going to use our pillar quartz blocks, and we're going to stack up one, two, three, four, right next to our cobblestone. Come two blocks away, do the same thing. So we'll have another pillar of quartz there, four tall. And then another pillar of cobblestone coming up and over and connecting the two pieces together. So let's move these up one more block. Now let's do the same thing with these over here. They should be the same. So two, and then three diagonal. And so let's just stack these up. And so, voila, here's what we have so far. This is how wide our garage is going to be. And I can't see my materials. Uh, just got to wait for that. To, okay. Okay, so now we're going to turn it to the right. So, we're going to have it kind of turn in. So, what we're going to do is this far right block here. We're going to make a right and then put another pillar of cobblestone right next to it. So, it should kind of look like this. Three, then two. Now, what we're going to do, take your pillar quartz blocks and we're going to stack up five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're gonna take out our spruce wood planks. I'm sorry if I'm moving a little bit fast. If you need to pause the video, I suggest it. Keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our spruce wood planks, come diagonal from the pillar quartz blocks, and we're gonna have it come in towards this window over here, and we're gonna lay down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna stack this up four tall. So three, four. Now, uh, on the other end of our wall now, we're going to take our pillar quartz again and stack it up five. So we should kind of have something looking that resembles like this. Now, using your pillar quartz block still, you're going to come diagonal. Now, these will be a uh, kind of like a sideways pillar quartz block, so keep that in mind. We're going to take out our quartz stairs, and we're just going to place them here in the corners. Now, what this will do, this kind of gives it that arch feel. So it kind of looks like more of an arch and more... And less of a square. Okay, now we're going to take out our cobblestone again. And the cobblestone will go right next to this last pillar that we made. And go up and across and connect the two walls of cobblestone together. Now, we're going to come diagonal in front, the opposite side of the window. So we're going to have it come in front. And we're going to have another pillar of cobblestone. Now, you guys might have guessed it. We're going to have another garage. But... What we're going to do is we're going to stack this one up five again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's come diagonal. 
Now, this is another garage, but this one is only going to be five blocks long instead of the six that we had earlier. So, one, two, three, four, five. Stack this up four tall as well. And four. And basically do the exact same thing that we did on the other garage. So it's kind of resembling the exact same thing. And then cobblestone comes up and over and connects the two. Now again, here's one of those pieces that if you want to add cobblestone here to kind of make it look more connected, you can. Uh, but also right next to this pillar of cobblestone we just added, we're going to add one more next to it. So it should be two. So it should look something like this is what your garage should look like. Oh, we forgot our stairs here. So let's put our stairs there. So there we go. Okay, so now we're going to come diagonal to the right this time. So we're going to have it kind of come in towards uh, our front door now. So we're going to take our cobblestone and we're going to make a big pillar that will come up really, really high. Now, we're going to kind of refine it a little bit later on, but just for now, we're going to kind of estimate how high it is. Now, we're going to make another pillar right next to it. So it should be a two wide wall at the moment. <clears throat> no, excuse me. So one thing I want to mention is that the main floor of this house will start two blocks up. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down two things of cobblestone uh, off the ground. So it, sh it should kind of look like this. Now, I want to mention the reason we didn't do that with the garage is because the garage is meant to be on the ground floor to where the actual living area is meant to be two blocks up. So just kind of keep that in mind. So right next to this two uh, wide pillar that we made, this wall, we're going to take our pillar quartz out again. And we're going to stack up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come two blocks away, do the same thing. And then right above it, we're going to have two layers of cobblestone connecting. And then just kind of come back down and make another wall of two on both sides. So it should kind of look something like this. So what we're going to do now is so we have two up above the pillar quartz using our cobblestone. We're going to lay down another six. So let me take my swiftness. And let's stack up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same thing. And we're just going to connect the pillars again. So we're, our first major window is done. And then any of the excess cobblestone you had up above, you can kind of get rid of it now. So voila, now we have our first major window. So now we're going to come diagonal. Actually, excuse me, we're going to come back one more block on the inside of here. So it should be two wide coming in. And now we come diagonal. Now again, keep in mind, this is going to start two blocks up. So we're going to have it stack up two. So one, two. We're going to have a pillar here. Now this pillar will go pretty high up as well. It's going to go two blocks uh, below the this window here. So we should have two blocks of space left over. And you'll see why here in a couple minutes. What we're going to do now is take out your pillar quartz blocks again. You might see a pattern here with the windows. And what we're going to do is stack up four. One, two, three, four. Do the same thing. One, two, three, four. So, uh, actually, I do want to go make sure on that. Because they should be... Okay, actually, I need to move those up one more. I'm happy I came over and checked that. Let me use my night vision again. There we go. So, we need to move these up one more block. So, with this window, we should have three things of cobblestone before we get to the window. And let's stack these up one more. And now we have four. And our cobblestone will come up and connect the two. Okay, so this one, this is where our door is going to be. Our door is going to be four wide. So obviously, it's not going to be using regular Minecraft doors that you might use in survival or something along those lines. So what we're going to do is, again, two blocks off the ground. And then uh, on the fifth block, so we're going to have a four block gap. And now we're kind of just recreating what we did over here. So... We're just going to redo the exact same thing. So we're going to make the small window again. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. And keep falling. And our cobblestone will come up and over and connect. Now this house, I want to let you know, this house is symmetrical. Besides when you get to the back deck, deck, the back deck, it is symmetrical. So just keep that in mind. So you will see a lot of repetitiveness when it comes to designing this. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we're kind of just like remaking like what we did earlier now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two blocks away, another six. Now this is actually a great moment for you guys who say I might be moving a little bit too fast because I have some people in the comments. Two, three, four, five, six. 
who always tell me I am moving too fast, and I don't always mean to do that, but sometimes it's just really hard to go slow for, for everybody's pace, you know? I don't try to go too fast, but I try to keep up with my pace, and get I try to get it done, because I know you guys can pause the video. So we're almost done here, and we're just going to... I'm gonna try to like hurry this up now. So since you guys already know what we're doing, so one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. Yeah, I can actually build without tutorials. I can build houses pretty quick to where like with tutorials they might take a little bit more time. One, two, three, and four. But usually like people ask me like how do you build your houses so quick? And it's mainly just because I've had a lot of practice building quickly like you can ask like Weeby Stranger or any of my good friends that have built with me before that I build pretty fast because usually because that's another question is people ask me how do you come up with house ideas and how do you design your houses well I don't use pen and paper so that's something that some people ask me but no I do not do that so just, I won't let you guys know that uh, but mainly what's kind of like what you have to do is you have to think Kind of like a chess match to where you have to think ahead and you have to think would this look good for the interior uh would i have enough room for this so it's kind of just like a big mix of thinking ahead it's kind of like the best way i can describe making a house sometimes is because it's not always easy especially a lot of people have asked me like why'd you get oh i need to count this so i'll get rid of this sorry guys i'll count that later on uh here we go yeah and so what was I talking about? I got off track. I got off topic. I said topic. I was like topic. And one, two, three, four. So you might notice something like some detail missing from the original house and this one. Like for example, the stone we have here on the corners. That's gonna be some of the latest and like last things we do, just because it's small details and I want to get the main details down first. Okay, so we have all this done from. Uh, both sides now what we're gonna do is we're going to make our front porch so the front porch we're gonna use cobblestone and right here we have these two ends of the windows closest to the door we're going to come out two one two second up two tall actually second up uh, one tall second up one tall and once it comes out two you're gonna have it come all the way over and connect with the other side just like this now on the ends here you can actually make the ends here uh, pillar quartz blocks and we're gonna stack it up three blocks so one two three and then the second layer is going to be using uh, upside down stairs so it should look something along these lines so it should look something like this now next what we're gonna do we're gonna take back out our pillar quartz blocks and then not in the actual door area but right next to it so like right here we're going to take our pillar quartz and we're gonna stack these up twice on top of the cobblestone. Now you can get rid of the cobblestone here if you want, but you're not really gonna see that and you'll see why in a minute. Now you can get rid of these stairs in the middle where the door is. And so now you, you're, you're kind of see everything taking shape. Now we're gonna make our railings. So the railings, we're gonna be using pillar quartz stairs. Well, it's quartz stairs. And what we're gonna do is use upside down stairs to kind of make them. So it should look something along these lines. Now, how I'm doing this is using the upside down stairs. The inside, like the back of the stair, is facing towards the front of the door. So it's a small detail I want to let you guys know like how I'm doing that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our stone slabs. And the stone slabs will go right on top of the, basically like right below the stairs. So if you're walking on the slabs, you should only notice the stairs in front of you, not everything below you, if that makes any sense. I tried to describe that as best I could. And voila. Okay, so then when we get to here, now we need to have the stairs come down, because obviously we don't want to jump up every time. What we're going to do is we're going to have our stone slabs come down one block in between these two quartz slabs or uh, pillars. And each time we go down, we're going to have it be out and come out wider. So it should look something like this. So we should be at four, five, and then six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so we should have eight down at the bottom, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what it should look like. Now, don't worry about having this gap here. We're gonna fix that a little bit later on. Uh, it's not that big of a detail. So these windows right here, right, like 
when you walk up to the porch, we see these two windows here. What we're going to do is we're going to stack up two more things of cobblestone. <clears throat> so one, two on both sides. And you'll see why here in a second. Now, we're going to take our pillar quartz box again. And here's how I look at this. So the ones we're getting ready to put down are going to be four blocks tall. And they should be directly even with this one here. These windows. So one, two, three, four. Come one block away. Add the exact same thing. Same thing on the other side. Again, this house is symmetrical. So it should look something along these. Now, this bottom quartz block is even with this one. And that's exactly how we want it. And now we're going to have cobblestone come up and across and connect. Now, again, you still might be wondering, like, well, why is it a little bit lower in the front here? Like, right here. And you'll see why. We're going to be ready to fix that. So what we're going to do is our second floor starts right here. So we have two blocks above this big, these like major windows and we're gonna have an upside down slab. Basically like imagine this is our main window. Our second floor starts right here is where it starts. So just keep that in mind. Or actually does it start here? Let me, I'm gonna go check that real quick because I wanna make sure we get this correct. So the second floor starts Oh, that doesn't really help. Okay, so I'm happy I came over and checked that. Okay, so the second floor actually starts right where this window is. So I'm happy I checked that. So we're going to put our slabs, and the slabs should go right underneath our windows here. Is have the slabs come all the way across and connect with each side. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to take our pillar quartz blocks out again. I know we're using them a lot. But we're going to stack these up all the way one block above our things here, our slabs. Do the same thing with the other one. Now what we're going to do is take your block of quartz and basically, not the top block, but the top block, like the second top block. We're going to put our quartz blocks here. Now we're going to have one on each side, like on the outside of these pillars. And then we're going to come diagonal and basically just have them connect with the house. Now. Again, you might notice that this is diagonal. It's not fully touching like this one down here. And there's a purpose for that. It looks better without it. So I just kind of want to let you know why I'm doing that. Now I'll take upside down stairs and put them underneath the blocks you just added. Now for this one here, what you can do is because it might look kind of weird having it look like that, right? So you want to put this one sideways and then have them come out like that, if that makes any sense. So we're going to turn this one sideways and then have upside down stairs connecting those. Now you can kind of see our front taking shape now. Now we're going to do take out your court stairs and make your railing again. Now this one here, what you want to do is this one, we want it to be facing the, the outside of the stairs should be facing the outside of the house. So we should have this block on the inside. If we had it facing like this, it would look kind of weird. So that's why we're doing it that way. I'm trying to like, explain everything out for you guys. Come on, place it. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Next, what we're gonna do, take a pillar quartz block out or just a regular quartz block, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use a pillar quartz and place one right behind the stair we just place on each side. And then using upside down stairs, use it to connect these. Now, again, this is supposed to be diagonal and not touching anything. It just looks better that way in my opinion. And voila. So there's our front porch. I feel like the front porch actually adds a lot of detail to this house. Now one last touch to it. Take your quartz slabs and place it on top of these pillars here. It's just a small touch but it adds a lot. Take your stone slabs out and finish making your patio or balcony whatever you want to call it. Alright one last touch before we end the video. We're going to take out our cobblestone again, and the cobblestone will go right here next to these windows. So we're not going to have an extra block of cobblestone on the inside closest to the door. And this one will go all the way up two blocks, so it should be two blocks above these windows. Do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, now take your pillar quartz blocks out again and stack these all the way up and all the way up. And actually, let's have them come one block below. So we can have come across like that. Now what we're going to do 
take your cord stairs and on the third block we're going to place these now what this will do this is for our doors so if we want this to be a door we actually need to be this this has to be a full block but we're going to put like classic minecraft doors here and voila now the front of our house is done obviously besides a roof and windows if you want to go ahead and add windows now i would not suggest it because we're going to add a little bit more detail to them later on but if you want to i would use glass panes so thank you for watching guys please ring subscribe i'll talk to all you guys later and stay tuned in for part two which we'll probably get around to the back side of the house hopefully so bye bye guys and i'll talk to you guys later